Welcome to the class of 2010. Now, there is some uncertainty about my personal future. I don't think it's my place to, you know, talk to or worry about Harry. I get knocked down. I think the um, Labor Party would be delighted for a Liberal member to sit in the chair and vice versa, <laughs> for obvious reasons. I've always supported uh, an independent speakership, but that doesn't mean that the speaker has to be an independent. An independent. In light of that, you know, it's a step too far for uh, this independent to uh, go for that speaker's spot. I think he's got enough on his plate as it is. If I get up again... We are going to see one side offer up one from the other side and vice versa. It's the job that um, neither party wants their own to have. Well, they'd be down one. Poor old Harry's like a fly blowing sheep at the moment. I'm trying to make the most of my time. No one seems to be telling him what is going on. <laughs> we had a group hug, independence, opposition, <laughs> Labor Party, about how this would all work. I found the group hug a little confronting. <laughs> it won't be about the hugging. <laughs> And obviously now the two major parties have to resolve this speakership position. The government won't want to nominate Harry Jenkins. I get knocked down. I'd be very happy and for Harry Jenkins him. to continue. But I get up again. He's my neighbour, in fact, so uh, I know what a terrific uh, person he is. You're never going to keep me down. I have literally minutes ago put the phone down from a telephone conversation with the leader of the opposition, Tony Abbott. Seems obligatory for me to say order. The coalition uh, cannot accept the proposed arrangement for the pairing of the speaker. The opposition will not honour the pairing section of the agreement. Order. It would be easy to go down the nani na path, but I'm not. We believe that it is constitutionally unsound. I had not expected that Mr Abbott would just wholly break his word, wholly break his word. The government should have done its homework. Order. Obviously the government will consider its position. It's her responsibility to find a speaker. If the government is unable or unwilling to provide a speaker for the parliament, well then the Prime Minister should not have accepted the Governor-General's commission. I'm sure that we'll find somebody to elect as speaker. I view this to be an extraordinary set of events. We have potentially a Mexican standoff. It's pretty clear that what we need is a speaker and a deputy speaker who are both honourable people who can be trusted. Oh, I don't care who's speaker as long as it's not me. We are today making it very clear that Harry Jenkins will be our candidate for speaker. I get up again. Harry's a good man. You're never going to keep me down. Tony Abbott uh, will announce soon, or maybe I can announce on his behalf, that, uh, that uh, Alex uh, Sommelier uh, will be nominating.